Hay tela, ¿eh? No, definitely. Sí, es el re, eh, este era el tequirrace, so. creo. ¿no? Muy, queda, Matt, queda el escape que totalmente expuesto. Silencioso. Y aquí tenemos otro bike único. Este es Matías y su 91 CR125. El 91. Ya sé, a ver, se ve rara un chasis en rojo, a mí no me gusta tampoco, pero claro, es que está haciendo un guiño a, a la época y va todo acorde. Esto lo, lo fuelle en la suspensión y todo. Es como muy exclusivo, es muy raro, tío. Muy raro. Toda la tornillería de titanio, todo. Y ahí había. Ahí había tela ahí, ¿eh? Ahí había telita que cortar. Telita que cortar. Cortar, como los chinos. Cortar. Just so into the ground. He did some spray painting. Spray painted everything on this. Down to the foot pegs and it's all chipping off. Esta está pintada hasta la estribera, a ver. Mm. That's a sad bike to start with. <clears throat> But I think you'll like what uh, he put together here. A ver cómo la veo. Ojo. Enduro me apareció yeah. ahí, ¿no? Es tan satisfying ver estos come together. Depósito de aluminio. On real. Aluminum tank. Got the headlight. Tail light on there. Está matriculada. Es como un CRE, es off-road style. Enduro type, type build. Which you don't bueno, entendemos, ¿no? Y le ha puesto, le ha puesto los foros. Eh, foco, you know, foros, no foco y tal. Entendemos que está matriculada. And just the amount of detail going into this build. Muy guapo. Wow. Okay. Los lo aros dorados, tío. That is so okay. cool looking. I, la corona roja yeah, me sobra. Un detallito tonto. Pero la corona roja me sobra. It was clean. It was, uh, ojo, ojo. Really well put together. And I'm probably me repeating myself puta, a lot here, but all these builds are just unreal. Espectacular. De posición totalmente. Espectacular. Espectacular. Y, of course, we've got RM125. Champ, Mitch, bringing the heat with a RM125 this year. And you know, if he, if he took last year's title, he's going to be throwing everything up this year. I can already tell that bike is just completely roached. A ver. A ver el resultado. Me encanta esa, esa onda, eh, tío. The seat is, has seen better days for sure. <clears throat> yeah, it's been sitting outside. See all the mold growing over? Case is blown apart. Nasty. So this is how you show detail. Get in close. Show everything that's Beat up on the bike. See the dry Esta tiene pinta de que lleva un taco de tiempo tirado con un garaje. Eh? Spent outside and you really get a good idea. All oh, rusted studs. That bike's from New England, New England, so it's definitely seeing its uh, ver, fair a share of, of weather. And here is the after. It's a David Pingree. Good job. Thousand. Te gusta más o menos eh, la estética, pero buen curro, buen curro. Unreal. Está muy... To see where he started and now to see it now. Me, me gusta, wow. no, no me disgusta, eh. Una RM de gallinero, totalmente. Me gusta, nice me gusta. Yeah, everything's just really combed over and done up right on this bike. <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to be fun trying to pick these bikes apart. We're going to have to get our magnifying glasses out. Bill Pipes. Like this that you have Muy buenas, Jesús. Find the tiniest of things to separate them. And some bikes, there there really is nothing that uh, that you can critique. So, me gusta. That me gusta. is. No es que sea de las mejores que haya visto, pero me gusta. Mitch, me gusta. nice work. All right, this one absolutely blew my mind when I saw it. This is Mo. Llego tarde, tranquilo, no hay problema. 
So, first off, I, it's al 11 y 20. I wasn't even aware of it. Estamos viendo esto, tira lo tonto, lo tonto. I'm not too much with the older bikes, but. Oh, this thing. Yeah, it. First off, it starts. Hay quien se apunta conmigo a hacer cancelar un gran premio de MXGP, no importa el que sea. He was able to come up with on there. Ya no se ven tantos protapes. Oye, esta... A ver, está su cubis. Así que puedes ver que su punto de partida era básicamente un pile de partes que no se veía en muy buena forma. Esta es la 500 que había dicho antes Jaime, si no me equivoco. Esta es algo especial. Esta es algo especial. Cuando la vi, te voy a decir... Me cago en la puta. Lo miré y dije... Esto es por qué... I started this contest to see bikes like this come come through, and it just it absolutely just boggled my mind to see what kind of parts he came up with for this bike, and then also the just the detail he put into it. Me cago. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. Buah. Buah, buah, buah. Sports, man. Oh, something else. La posición del amortiguador trasero, exactamente. Tiene la botella que adelante. Owens. Yep, Owens rear shock on there. Dios. Just a bike that pops. Qué locura, tío. Qué locura. Es para que repita en España. Ya he visto algo. Lo comentaremos el lunes, porque hoy los viernes estamos un poquito malos, loco. Está nevando ahí. Purple frame, wow. Someone had fun with the spray paint for sure. Está bien pintadita, Safi. Oh, they really rattle can the forks and yeah, he probably used. Tiene un porta número de KTM. That was probably the majority of the cost was paint stripper. Yeah, this is another bike where I, if I see it, I'm like, I don't know how to take on a bike that. You know, you see everything. How crusty it is, and you know when you dig into it, you're in for a treat for sure. You're in for a surprise. And you know when you dig into it, you're in for a treat for sure. You're in for a surprise. Open up the engine, and probably everything's hammered in there too. Wow, how nice. Looks like he had a spare engine, or at least spare engine parts, so that's good. It's always nice to have a few extras on a crusty build like that. And Nico put together this out of that pile of parts. Nice. On real. Nice, nice. Dude. I still, I'm just, I'm speechless on some of these bikes. Like, yeah, you can clean that up, but how do you do it in six months? And then also, all the planning, Muy guapa. Muy guapa. all the, the thought that goes into these bikes. You know, there's so many variables that go into it, and you know, he, he really nailed this one. And good work on, on showing the details, get in there and. Muy, muy guapa. Alguna torquecilla ferretería he visto ahí, pero bueno. Es like a lot of blasting to bring back that aluminum. Me gusta, me gusta. Muy clean. Y de una perspectiva de transformación, está ahí. Así que, Nico, muy digno, muy digno de los top 32. Y tenemos Ron y su RM80. This is another one. Like, I, I'm gonna say it about pretty much every single build in this in this 32 of like, it is just unfathomable what the transformation you guys are putting these through. Like to even have the courage to start with these bikes, like with how bad off they are, and like I said, like this is the reason why the contest exists. You know, to bring back these bikes that people have forgotten about. Hay que buscar novia americana y conseguir la tarjeta verde americana. Está puesto, eh. Ya veo, ya controlo tu tarjeta. 
It's pretty cool. A buscar, Very buscar. inspiring. Yo no puedo ya. A ver, yo. A ver, a ver cómo la deja. Australia. So we're uh, getting some international flair here. Here's the after of bronze RM80. Let's get up close and see just how much. Very clean. How much attention you put into this thing? Hay un currazo, eh? Yeah, it's in the, like I said before, it's you know, it really Muy pays bonita. to get in there, show the details of these bikes because that's a, that's what's going to separate them. Eh, dice lo que tenemos que traer no todo en contenedores, pero a la Giri o a las motos. ¿Qué te quieres traer? <laughs> you know, if there's if it's Escucha. literally perfect, there's nothing we can nip. Menudo curro like ahí. One, eh? I don't see anything yet that I can see and, you know, si yo queda muy separado ahí del depósito, like algo raro ahí. Pretty flawless. Pero está guapísimo. I have to get the microscope out and really hone in on the details. Very, very, very. Yeah, just a fabulous build, Ron. Fijaros, tío. Está todo super, super limpio. Now that's a proper restoration. Very cool. I I like that one. I like when people take take the old, you know, mini bikes and bring them back. So, Hay de todo, eh. Hay pe. Ron, you are. Lo hay con gusto y sin gusto. <laughs> ah, pero aquí están saliendo máquinas flipantes, tío. KX 125. Is that Ryan? It looks like Ryan and his son together. And. I remember seeing throughout the video they had a pretty tight budget. Esta base no es mala en principio. La veis sin plástico, ¿verdad? Pero no tiene mala pinta la base. We'll see it, but no tiene. Oh tía, oh tía. Before video, pretty, pretty crunchy. Madre mía. Ah, son cosas de escribir, ¿verdad? No, no tiene mala base, parece. De escape. Nice platform for a build though. So that's the, the B4 of Ryan's KX. That seat, I don't know what to think about that thing. Looks like it belongs on the Harley. With the leather cover on there. A ver. Yeah, so. Ya, vamos a terminar el video. Cuarto de hora, vamos a ver. Turned out pretty dang sweet here. Guapísima. Brought it back to the. OG graphics. Corte todo el piñón. Original. Um, original. A lot of the, es original. All the parts. Pero es que es que We es original era preciosa ya tío. And their budget was 2,000 I believe. And they somehow built this for less than 2,000. Costó 150 dólares y el presupuesto de hacerla 2,000. What is possible with a small budget and you know for 2,000 dólares you have an awesome bike there. That's fresh. You built it. You know it inside out. You know, and it looks like you built it with the sun, so it had a whole muy experience guapo. out of it too. So that's muy, muy again, guapo. that's what the contest is all about. You know, bringing these bikes back to life and having a good experience along the way. So, Ryan, big props for making it in. Good effort. And we've got a CR. Cucha, cucha, cucha. Ya hay material, eh? Put together. Where he started with. Material. You know, nothing. Not too nice, not too bad. Maybe we'll get some of the more details on this one and see what. Pedazo de garaje, totalmente. What's busted up on it. Ena, ha salido aquí un garaje que tiene una nevera de cuatro metros por lo menos. ¿Tú crees que me cabrá mi una ahí? Puede ser. Grimy. Me ve la de 4 metros, 2 por 2. Mira, Mito dice que asco de garaje. Of course, anytime you start with an older bike like this from the 90s, you're, you're in for a, a chore for sure. So, Sean's CR. Llave. It's really about the transformation on this one. It, it turned out just unreal. Troy, tío. Everything Troy. Just, everything's... Just, just la jefa, right. todo firme. Not too much. Not way overdone. Mamma mia. Very tasteful. 
And just they'll put in a ton of that really carbono. Really dry. Yeah, man. <clears throat> oh, I really like the purple hubs on that. That's a nice, really nice touch. I'm nice. Purple nice. bars. Qué pilar, mira por dentro del, del guardabarro, tío. Got the Honda Troy theme going on there. It's like some sweet looking axle blocks. Madre mía. And the coatings on the. La, la caja de filtros de carbono también parece o es una pegatina. Next level. Buah. Yeah, that is a very cool build. Todd de Hoop. Replica there, it looks like. Qué locura, tío. With some few little extra. Extra spice on top. So Sean is going to the tournament.